From the KSDP Weather Room, the word for the Twin Cities, variable cloudiness with showers and thunder showers. Likely tonight, 60% chance. The low rating will be 55 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly fair to partly cloudy on through Wednesday. The high tomorrow, about 72. The low tomorrow night, 48. Humidity now, 54%. Winds south, 18, gusting to 25. 54% relative humidity. The sky is cloudy, 76 degrees. Dialing for dollars coming up at 715. We'll go to the tune of $120. Tried some money saving tricks, bought a compact car for his family of six. He tried to load them in, it really was a squeeze. Man, he had trouble driving with his head between his knees. So he bought a new Dart, a white hat special. He had more room than he ever had before. Get a Dodge Boys deal when you really want the best. Get a white hat special, you get a lot more. Now, let's go out to that pair. Rod Person and Dave Sheehan at White Bear Dodge. Oh, 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 you Indian giver. No, not you, Charlie, or Don, or whoever that was. Dave Sheehan and Rod Person here at the big celebration. White Bear Dodge, 3430, Highway 61. Watch those tulips, Jerry, will you? 3430, Highway 61. just went around 61. and watered all the tulips, I think. Hey, listen, look I at like the cars the they get out here. That's really nice. Have you looked over the automobiles, my good friend, Yes, David? I hope, you know, they did such a great job of cleaning them up. I hope the little uh, rain showers that are jumping in and out throughout the Twin Cities don't... Don't mess up the, the cars, Rod, but I'm sure that they're such beautiful-looking cars and with those red and white flags on the, on the antennas, uh, you can't miss, you can't miss <laughs> this place. It I looks like a giant kite right on Highway 61. <laughs> did you put your top up? Did I? Yeah. Yes, no, I'll I put did. you... I did. <laughs> I'm glad you dressed up tonight. You're going to put it up higher? Big <laughs> <laughs> the big celebration out here. Listen, my friends, you've got to come out to White Bear Dodge. This is the week that White Bear Dodge is going to sell 21 brand-new cars a day because... They are now the 21st largest dealer in all of the United States and the whole world. Not That's only the region's good. number one dealer, but the 21st dealer nationally, and that is something. Once you get out here, you're going to see why. Ten acres of automobiles, over 400 automobiles setting out here, all service and set to go. And like Dave says, they get balloons and kites all over. <laughs> and you know, they're giving away a color television set this week, too, Rod. That's right. Anyone that comes out this week can register, Three. and the set will be given away free on Saturday. So Not only out. color television, but they have other prizes they'll be oh, giving yes. away also. Yeah, well, but who wants to win anything but a color television? So I don't know. Why not? the twin news tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, here's some of the used car values you'll find at White Bear Dodge. A 1966 Olds 442 two-door hardtop V8 with four-speed transmission radio, just 1795, or a 61 Olds Tempest station wagon. Drive this clean little car away. You'll love it. It's only $395 here at White Bear Dodge. Jerry Perkle's 10 acres of carmanship, right? They're all serviced and set to go besides that beautiful grizzly camper and Dodge trucks. They're all out here. Everything is out here if you're thinking about a new or used automobile or a camper or a truck, whatever. And besides that, you get the highest trade in on your automobile. Or By the way, that, that, that grizzly is not uh, Rod's description of the truck. That's a brand name. Well, I rephrased it last time. It was the camper line by Grizzly. That's but, better. Yeah. But Bob Ryan says it's the grizzly. The grizzly camper line. <laughs> well, whatever, Rod. We'll be out here for the next two hours until 9 o'clock and uh, be happy to meet and talk with anyone that comes out to take a look at these terrific uh, car deals that they do have out here, both new and used cars and those old campers and trucks and and I think uh, that Jerry Perkle would probably even sell the cannon if someone made him a good enough deal on it. I don't know, but they sell either they'll that sell or everything shoot us here. with it. One right, of the they'll probably <laughs> throw, us, uh, throw us in on the deal, folks. If you come out and buy a car, you might get a good deal and might get Rod and I to go home with you if you're really lucky. Anyway, we'll be here until nine o'clock. And uh, as we said, come out, get a balloon, register for a television set, and pretend you're interested in a car, and you might win a television set. <laughs> but once you get out of here, they'll probably sell you a car because. Jerry Purple and Dick Hesse and the whole group out here are very interested in seeing you drive out of here in a White Bear Dodge. Okay, Charlie. KS15.
I'll try something new. That's Diana Ross, and that's what we're going to do. It's not really something new, but it's new each evening for us. And that's Henry Wolf. We'll be talking to old Hank as Henry is standing by, and we're going to have a nice chit-chat. A busy man today. Very Don and Charlie show as we go all the way up until 8 o'clock. We have 76 degrees, sky cloudy, and a south 18 wind gusting 25. Variable cloudiness, showers or thunderstorms tonight. Down to about 55 for a low. Tomorrow, mostly fair to partly cloudy with a high of 72 degrees. This is the What's Happening Sound. Radio, that's where it is. The global beat, the local news. Music, sports, and interviews. All of the action can be found on radio. Radio, the What's Happening Sound. You always know with radio. And in the Twin Cities, KS-15 guarantees it. You're in touch with the world around you with KS-15, the good life. Get your spirits off the ground with radio. Radio. The what's happening sound. Weather, traffic, household hints, the happy beat of the action sound. What's happening gets around on radio. Radio, the what's happening time. Now, let's bring him on here. The man with the HW, Henry Wolf. Go ahead, Charlie, bring him on. Introduction. Go ahead, Charlie. Hello, Henry. Hello, oh. hello Charlie. Qu- short introduction, but that's all right. That's Is that all right, Henry? That suffice tonight? Pardon me? Is that all right? That's short introduction. Sure. We, we normally lay it on pretty thick, I'm, however. I'm, I'm accustomed to being... Uh, Cut down, so to speak. You know, I don't mind. I don't mind. Cut down? Who in the world would ever do that? Well, I don't know. You just did. But that's all right. Okay. We just did, Henry? We never cut you down. Why, you usually give me a 90 seconds introduction. Tonight was 20 seconds. Well, sorry about that, Henry. You know, we have a, l- a couple of extra broadcasts in this hour. I right. suppose we're hustling I, along. I forgive you for okay. once. I forgive you. Okay, Henry, good. That's nice to know. Kind of make our day, knowing that we're forgiven. Good. What's happening on the show tonight? Oh, we have some terrific people. We have a pro golfer, Martin Fleckman. Uh, Martin Fleckman comes to us from Texas. He's number 61 in the list. And you know what happened yesterday? The number 67 in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. He won the tournament, $20,000. He beat... uh, Who are you talking about now? What's his name? Linson? Henson. 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 Yeah, he won it. First golf it, tournament. He won it. He was number 67. And he bet uh, he beat uh, Mr. Beard or on a, what do they call it? Sudden Success? death. Yeah, he Sudden did. For $20,000. And he's so going to be on your show? Martin Fleckman, who, by the way, was down there in New Orleans. Oh, yeah, Marty Fleckman. He's one of the good golfers. You know him? Oh, yeah. Well, I know did. of him. I don't know him you should, personally. Huh? I don't know him personally, but I know of him. I oh, follow golf. Well, you should come down and interview him. There's yeah. Else to do that, is. Well, I uh, I'm pretty well booked up tonight, Henry. I yeah, got you know. Up, huh? Oh, just gigs on top of gigs. It's storm. It's getting black and black on my area. Yet. Is it? All right. Anyway, Marty Fleckman will be on. Good. We have Mark Linder, a McAllister senior, who's the outgoing president of the student body at McAllister, who's just back from Washington, and who refuses to serve uh, the armed forces as long as the Vietnam War is on. They are suing the United States government. Uh, challenging, challenging the constitutional, the constitutional knowledge. <laughs> How you doing, Henry? What do you think of the show so far? <laughs> no, let me let me say the words. That's really difficult. The constitutionality of legislation. What do you think, Charlie? Close. <laughs> well, we'll give you a C minus on no, that, okay. Henry. That's... Okay. Anyway, he went he went to Washington with uh, several other people. And uh, student activists and whatnot, and mm-hmm. uh, it's a it's an interesting suit because um, they are he actually is a conscientious objector, but what they are suing is the things that are federal aid to students who engage in campus protests would be cut off. So that's mm-hmm. an interesting subject. Henry, uh, I, can learn, I can learn how to pronounce that word. But anyway. We look ahead to the uh, show tonight. We're moving into dialing for dollars time here. We uh, no, somehow didn't get as much time to be talking with you tonight, but uh, we'll look ahead to the show and all the guests that you have coming up. 
You mean you're cutting me off again? Well, we're right about 17 after right now. We have to move bye the bye. dialing for dollars. Talk, Talk to you later, bye. Henry. Bye-bye. So there's our man with the interview at 1010 tonight. Let's go for that money. <laughs> $120 in the Dialing for Dollars jackpot. And along with that, we need account and direction. They call us the Not bad change. 120 We have the count and direction. It is now up one. 120 up one. And I'll place that call. It's all you have to know. It's so simple. Just write it down, read it back. Up one, $120. 76 degrees, cloudy in the Twin Cities area. We'll be going out to White Bear Dodge again with Dave Sheehan and the skinny kid. Rod, what's his name? Hello. Hello, KSDP Radio calling. Is your number 774-6839? Yes, it is. Ma'am, this is Don Duchesne on Dialing for Dollars, our 715 call on the air, and I was hoping you were listening to tell us the count, direction, and amount for this call. Dear, no, I'm sorry, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry, too. It was up one and $120. That was the oh, cash. Man. This time, we'll send that KSTP lucky dollar out to you. We have you listed the Robert E. Stahn residence. Yes, it is. 1359 Clarence in St. Paul. Yes, yeah, Mrs. Stahn, I assume that you're familiar with Dialing for Dollars. We make yes. six calls every day. And yeah, here's hoping that we can give you a call back. Yeah, we dial at 915, 1015, 115, 315, 515, and this time every day, Monday through Friday. Those listening on the air that are not familiar with our call times, I thought I'd mention that. Mrs. Stein, we're going to put your name back into the treasure chest, and I hope we can give you a call in the near future and catch you listening. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Mrs. Stein, however, gets the prize. We never Why, have any losers. Of course, we're going to send that lucky dollar out to you, Mrs. Stein. You count on that. And the jackpot goes up to ever dizzying heights. It's now at $125 for that next call at 9.15 tomorrow with Steve. <laughs> Tried some money saving tricks, bought a compact car for his family of six. He tried to load them in, it really was a squeeze. Man, he had trouble driving with his head between his knees. So he bought a new dart, a white hat special. He had more room than he ever had before. Get a Dodge Boys deal when you really want the best. Get a white hat special, you get a lot more. It's indeed a great pleasure to be a uh, one of two people, myself, Charlie Bush, and Don DeShane. To have on our show a rare talent, the great wit, the rare what? Rod Person and Dave Sheehan. Go ahead, Thanks. fellas. Thanks a lot, Don. Or was that Charlie? I don't know which one is which, Rod. No one's ever seen these two guys. That was Lauren Warner, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the old... I think it was Sidney Toller. <laughs> <laughs> Say, did they sell boats out here? Uh, I don't know, but I think you could probably turn some of the cars upside down and float them home if you have to. No, actually, it's not raining that hard, and I don't want to. We don't want to scare anybody that may not be in the in the area, and it may not be raining where you are. It wasn't raining over by the station when I started out here about uh, what? Still not raining minutes. where I am, really. It, no, because you're inside. <laughs> but it is raining outside. But don't let the rain keep you from coming out to White Bear Dodge and taking a look at some of the the great deals that they do have out here. To, Tonight and uh, of course all week long, you can register for various gifts, including a color television and a, a beautiful cutlery set. And uh, Dick Hesse says they've got a couple of little golf carts. They've got what did you say it was? Ten acres out here. Ten acres, right? And he says a lot of people were unhappy because they had to walk four miles to see the car they wanted to see. So they've got a couple of golf carts to drive people around in. And Hesse is out looking for an umbrella now, so that they can take him out. <laughs> they the really don't have to. Him soaked. They really don't have to walk four miles because back here in what they call the bullpen, they have all their new automobiles, and they're lined up. And all you have to do is just drive by, find the color, the model you want, whatever, it, whether it's a Charger, a Polara, a Coronet, uh, Monaco, whatever you find. Or even a you, Monaco. Right, a right. Monaco, and they're not bad either with a little olive in it. But whatever it happens to be, you'll find it here for the next uh, week. They're going to try and sell 21 cars a day in celebration to the fact that nationally, around the world, they're the 21st Dodge dealer in volume. And you'll see why when you come out here. Big volume means big savings at lower prices for you. So come on, stop out here tonight, take a look at Dave, <laughs> and uh, stop by and say hello Thank to us. We have, we have some albums. They have a free color television, other prizes. The albums are for. going fast. Right, and we'll be back with you shortly. Right now, back to Charlie Bush.